So, see, I am very happy whenever I am teaching Germany. Why? Because Germany is one of my major strength areas. Right? And to share your strength with your most favorite students is always a bliss. One thing you should be very clear about Germany. What is the speciality? It never fails. Okay. If Germany is telling you a prediction that will happen, you cannot anticipate it. You don't know how it will happen. See, this is not your department. As an astrologer, you are to predict what will happen. You are not going to predict how it will happen. Right? Right? How it will happen, God will do that. Of course, one, one minute before meeting the accident, no one is anticipating the accident. Certainly not. So if someone is telling you that, sir, I don't think how this will happen. If you can see it, then why it is future? And this one thing should be very clear in your mind, right? So if Germany is telling you something that will happen for sure, right? So technically planet having highest minute is Atmakara. Okay. Come to this much. Then I will go to the next question. So in this particular horoscope, if I have to decide which is the, which planet is having highest minute. Rahu Getu, we are not using. I will tell you why. Highest minute planet is moon. 52 minutes, right? So moon is the Atmakara. Simply put, right? And we are not using degrees at all. We will never use degrees at all. This is because of multiple reasons. So Germany is making a different system. I understand that. But does it mean that he can contradict other systems? It does not mean. Because if he contradicts other systems, then big problem will come. And Germany will say marriage will not happen. Parashar will say marriage will happen. Now, of course, one thing will happen and one will be incorrect. Both of them are rishis. How this can happen? So the problem with degree are many. If you use a degree, then in that particular scenario, once Saturn have become Atmakarak, Saturn have reached around 28 to 29 degrees, he will be he will remain Atmakarak for months. Because other planets cannot easily catch up. In that scenario, everyone born in the month will have Saturn as Atmakarak only and you see how fast the Navam Shatsakra position of Saturn will change. So technically you are telling me everyone born in a week is having same result. Because Atmakarak is very powerful. Everything has to be seen from Atmakarak only. This makes the system very less accurate. Which is not the reality. Right? Whereas when talking of minutes, in one day four planets can change the highest minutes. Right? Minutes is more fragile. So even people born one hour apart will have a different Atmakarak, which is more accurate, better. And the proof is in the pudding, right? The principles of Atmakarak, when you apply, it is more applicable to minute-based Atmakarak than to degree-based Atmakarak, right? So that research part is always there. And you know, my last emphasis is the result. But before that, logics are also there that you have to understand. And another point is, Parashar is telling you planet in a last degree or the first degree of a Rashi is either dead or is child. And this dead or child planet cannot produce a result. This is avastha of planet, state of planet, right? So technically, Darkarak, the planet in the starting degrees of the Rashi, and Atmakarak, the planet in the last degrees of Rashi, according to Parashar, cannot produce a result. So when it cannot produce a result, why we are using them, I don't understand. If they cannot produce a result, then use them only for mental exercise or what? So this once again is a very useless point. Instead, when we are using minutes, the real thing, then planet in first or last degree does not matter because planet can be at any point of time and he can have higher minutes, can have lower degrees. That's not an issue. Right? So multiple such things are there. I can give you five, six logic, but let's leave that. Let's leave that for the time being. These are the reasons. And the most important reason is that it is clearly written based on colors. It should be decided. So for this horoscope, moon is the Atmakara. And now I have just changed, you know, the previous horoscope, just a second. The previous horoscope was based on the time when I casted the chart just five minutes ago. Right? 
Now I have made a new chart and now you see moon is not Atmagar. Now Mercury is Atmagar. So, so frequently it is changing. It is more accurate. Degree method, that time also moon was Atmagar. This time also moon is Atmagar. So they are technically having same result. Very good. Yes. 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 Madam Rahu pe aayenge. Welcome. Yes. Uh, based on the zero degree, uh, can we consider the minute also for the planets who have the zero degree or on, uh, we will cancel all? We will ignore all? We will ignore all. We will just take minutes. Even he has a zero degree? Yeah, yeah even cancel. if he has a zero degree, does not. Okay. okay, thank you. So it is very quickly changing. You see, that was hor this is horoscope for 21-14, just 9-14. Now it is also same for 9, 15 p.m. also. Let's come back in five minutes, okay? Let me explain you some more things. Then we will see that it is very, very quickly changing. So which makes the system more accurate. And because other than that planetary positions and Navamsha, for the moon to change the Navamsha, it will need four hours. Everyone born in four hours, how many people are born in four hours, first of all? Everyone born in four hours, they cannot have the same fate. This should be very clear. Right? This is first point. Now coming to Babita Madam's question. Rahu Ketu. Yes. If the two planets are having same minutes, we are using seconds. Right? Yes, one can have this question that Gemini cannot deal with twin birth. Though Gemini can deal better with twin birth, you know, better than anything else. But such formula is because Atamkarak will differ and other things are there, right? Special ascendants will come. You see, if you have to deal with twin ascendant, if you have to make accurate prediction about astrology, you have to use Gemini astrology. I will tell you. Like earlier times, people have been, you know, like, 200 years ago in 1700s, 1600s, people identify themselves as we are Parashara astrologers. They used to hate Gemini astrology or hate other systems of astrology. People were so reluctant about it that good people who are writing on astrology, Sanskrit books are abusing people, abusing Varameer, abusing others, abusing Parashara. They are so adamant about the system. But still then also, when they have to talk of longevity, they have to talk of Gemini. When they have to talk of jail combinations, they have to talk of Gemini because if a Gemini principle is there and you are ignoring that principle, then you are risking your prediction. Atriya. So, uh, Shpumji, the software you're using, Vinnathora, I saw that in our discussion, mm -hmm. the, the Atmakarika was Mercury, but they were showing AK somewhere else. Uh, because then it is calculating off? based on minutes. No, the, it is calculating degree. based on minute. So it is calculating based on degree. Yeah. We, are so we don't have to degree, use right? there so is then... no provision to calculate based on minutes. So that you have to manually do and ignore this what is written. Ah, okay. Okay. And we cannot turn it off. So that's another irony. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right, right. Right. And secondly, just one subtle question is that does Gemini astrology cover all the combinations so that we can fully be yes, dependent yes, yes. It, and it use Gemini everything, everything, everything. Wow. everything that we can like you know, everything that we can imagine that is covered. That is thanks. Right, this point is clear. Now. Whether to use Rahu or not. So one thing is there. See, Atma means self. Self means body. Yourself, your body, you are having a body. Rahu is not having a body. So how he can represent one with body? Is problem number one. That's the philosophical part. And you know, I very much depend on philosophy. Philosophy is a very dubious thing. You, know? you can keep on asking. You can have a logic, you can have a bad logic and you can keep on putting with logic and logic will never end. So logic is my least preferred way. First preferred way is the shloka, second preferred way is the experience, simple point. Right? Logic is the least preferred way. 
And for this particular reason, you will generally see people put comments on YouTube or social media platforms. I don't answer them. I used to answer earlier, but what I have seen, logic, lot of logic can be there, right? You can talk to them. They, you can talk to one continuously for one year without reaching at a conclusion because logic. Multiple logic. I can say you that, okay, from in Hinduism, the sky God is not much worshipped. Someone will say, no, I am Greek. In the Greek religion, it is much worshipped. So now you keep on debating who came earlier, Greek came earlier, Hindu came earlier. Then it will be endless debate. How you are timing? Are you taking fossils? Are you taking written notes? So right from the you know, Lord of Uttar Bhadraprad was mentioned in classics or not, you have came to history. And you can keep on debating for endless years, you will reach at no result. Now what he is saying, Sapta Naam Ashta Naam Va Atma Atma Karak Adhika More in Kala Minutes Dibhirna Bhoga as per the enjoyment out of seven planets out of eight planets. Sapta Naam Seven Ashtanam eight. Atmakarak is decided from seven planets out of eight planets. It is very clear, right? Atmakarak is decided based on seven planets out of eight planets. Why out of eight planets? Because Ketu will have same degree as Rahu. Same minute as Rahu, same seconds as Rahu. So Ketu is not considered as all. Eight planets are considered from Sun to Rahu. And Atmakarak is decided based on seven. Rahu Ketu, no, no. Only Sun to Saturn will become Atmakara. When you go further into Gemini astrology, you will see Brahma. Rahu cannot become Brahma. Rahu cannot become Maheshwar. Rahu is disqualified for multiple things. Whenever it comes about body, Brahma, Maheshwar, you will use in death. Rahu cannot give you body. Rahu cannot cause you death also. And so body, death, these areas, Rahu will not come. Not here. Anywhere in Germany, it will not come. So I have I have just like transliterated it and separated it below also. Atma, Atma Karak, AK, Adhika Hamur, Kala Minutes, Hirn as per difference, Boga as per enjoyment, Saptanam of seven planets, Ma Ashtana, Ma means out of. Ashtana means eight. Va means is. Okay. So Atmakarak is the planet having enjoyed more minutes. Right. In the difference of all the seven planets out of eight planets. This is what it means. It does not have a grammar. That grammar you have to. Make. Right. Because Germany is written in Sutra style. Vedas are also written in Sutra style. Other astrology texts are written in Shloka style. Shloka style is with grammar. It is developed later on. So Germany is earlier than anyone else. Germany have written a commentary on Vedas also. Parashar have written a commentary on Vishnu. Parashar have written Vishnu Puran. Vedas are earlier. Puranas are later. So if you believe that Parashar was the student of the son of Sorry, if you think that Germany was the student of son of Parashar, that was Krishna Deva and Vyas, you are highly mistaken. If Parashar is written Vishnu Puran. Germany is written, writing commentary on Vedas. So you are technically telling me that Puran came earlier, Veda came later. You say that people have first developed complete astrological grammar. Indians have developed, Hindus have developed complete grammar that they have used in writing Vishnu Puran, then they forgot it. Then they started writing Vedas, that is without any grammar in Sutra style, then they learned it again. Wow. Very good. Super logic. You cannot fight with that. Such logic, if someone puts in front of me, I don't consider the person worthy of talking. Man, What you are talking, if you listen to your word again and again, you will not talk. So better not to answer, right? This is Atma Karak. What does the Atma Karak do for you? Atamakarak will do two things for you. Sir, as per him, Ishta comes from the word Ishtata. Ishtata means beneficence actually. Okay. 
और ईस्ट इज द सुप्रीम गॉड सो ईस्ट मीन्स पावर ऑल्सो बंद मीन्स बॉन्डेज मोक्षयो मीन्स सालवेशन एज पर हिम हिम हु आत्मकारक एज पर आत्मकारक एज पर द बेनिफिश ऑफ आत्मकारक एंड एज पर द पावर ऑफ आत्मकारक वन सफर सालवेशन और बॉन्डेज बॉन्डेज इफ द आत्मकारक इज नॉट बेनिफिक दैट मीन्स इफ द आत्मकारक इज मेलिफिक और इफ द आत्मकारक इज वीक सालवेशन इफ द आत्मकारक इज बेनिफिक एंड इफ द आत्मकारक इज पावरफुल so two things are there how the atmakara will become powerful point so germany strength is a bit complex we'll come to that right now you can use see germany have told you one simple thing hora daya siddha hora is the name for astrology right you know the three branches of astrology predictive astrology is called hora so basically astrology is divided into three parts siddhant siddhant goes into two parts spherical astronomy and mathematical astrology then there is samhita samhita talks about omens these are omens which are witnessed by all fall of a star Two three eclipses happening in the same year. This is witnessed by all. Everyone will see that. So these omens come into play. Based on these omens only, the future of the country's nations are predicted. There is no concept of horoscope of a country. My grandfather was born in nineteen thirty. Was he born in India? Your horoscope of India is from nineteen forty seven. My father is born in nineteen thirty. Which country I belong to? India only, no. So India is not born in 1947. The land that I am sitting on did not came out of water in 1947 only. It was always there. So horoscope of a country is as useless as it can be. No sage have used it. But nowadays people are very intelligent. So that is another. Another thing is transit. And the sun is into Aries Rashi. It is in Aries Rashi for all. so based on the transit of planets in different rashis and based on the omens which are witnessed by all the prediction of the country is made this is the part of samhita then comes hora hora means personal astrology in this hora one is jatak and a jatak is personal horoscope then there is prashna prashna is the you know horoscope for the moment prashna you know then there is muhurta and a muhurta is electional astrology good time to do something it is like probable horoscope that i will do this work at this moment and this horoscope will come out so because this horoscope is good result will be good this is muhurt and in prashna and muhurt also horoscope is used and along with horoscope omens are also used but what is the difference between this omen and this omen it was raining day before yesterday complete dehradun witnessed it it is a mundane omen right just before the class i was having pain in my stomach i have to take a medication i am not feeling well this is my personal omen you are well i am not not well so this is the omen of prashna and muhurt what the astrologer itself is witnessing right if a lady comes in my home it is only coming in my home it is not coming in every one every one's home personal bow personal omen right so hora daya siddha the principles of personal astrology are already accomplished siddha that you have to use so normal astrology principles we have to use and if gemini have specified a special principle that special principle we have to use right so these two things are there now yes gemini covers personal horoscopy personal horoscopy or personal, personal okay. no not the siddhanta i meant basically not the mundane sorry it can deal 
it okay. can deal but it technically does not okay germany is a jata so you can take it into prashna and mahurut but primarily it is a jata jata means personal horoscope only but because it is a part of hora it can be extended to prashna and mahurut as well no what do you understand by bondage person is in bondage what is, what is meaning in bondage person cannot do whatever he wants to do that means either he is not having that much money or he is not having that much resources or he is not having that much freedom technically person is unsuccessful he is dependent on someone else so to spend the money to use the money right to go outside or to do something he needs a permission right so the person is unsuccessful that means the person is into bondage salvation means the person is free he have a lot of money and he have authority to spend the money also and he is technically a ruler so he can do anything there is no one to stop because everything is dependent on him only so first point very simply you can check the atma karak if the atma karak is powerful person is successful if the atma karak is not powerful person is not successful simple point now if the atma karak is a malefic then basically starting part of life is difficult see until and unless the person becomes successful like 22 23 years of age before that in childhood he does not have access to much resources so there he is into bondage later on because the planet can be powerful he will gain freedom whereas if the atma karak is a benefic planet right from childhood he will have salvation so his family will have enough money father will have enough resources and they can give the child anything that he wants okay this is how it should be understood right now coming to the strength part for example take this horoscope who is the atma so, karak can i can i ask a question yeah yeah, question? yeah 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 so so once the atma karak is let's say malefic or benefic will it remain like that throughout the journey for that particular job yeah, or but it, it is also... it is only childhood no starting 20 23 years of life after that the result should be decided based on strength and weakness initial bad result it will be but it is limited to a particular time frame for example this lady what do you say who is the atma karak moon is this moon powerful you should see navamsh also then you will understand and navamsh is very important only three divisional charts gemini is using not more d1 d3 d9 other divisional charts he is not using technically outwardly he is not mentioning other divisional charts very clearly though you can use if you go by my interpretation but that's another point is the moon powerful yes he is in exalted navamsh right very good moon is in the 10th house also this is a very important point my friend so when i talk to you about strength you see exalted etc etc is a powerful planet now exaltation is a power based on rashi planet become exalted in a rashi own rashi is a rashi own house is a house vargottam he becomes in same rashi same navansh so it is all rashi what are the house factors of strength <clears throat> house should also contribute to strength no so in house you have one particular concept that is digbal right directional strength of planet so jupiter and mercury gets directional strength in the ascendant sun and mars gets the directional strength in the 10th house saturn will get the directional strength in the 7th house and moon and venus will get the directional strength in the fourth house in the opposite houses they will lose it right then yeah i should do something can you hear me yeah uh i just wanted to ask uh, 
the moon was only one house away from sun do we have to consider that in the strength factor uh, that is for the maleficence kevin so okay. in germany what will happen moon will give bad result if he is close to sun good result if he is away from sun but it will not contribute to the weakness of moon okay okay understood thank you and one thing is there when you go to germany i will i will i will tell you these four principles the germany source of strength and this we essentially have to know so this is one type of strength directional strength you know that so sun and mars are getting directional strength in the 10th house they will lose it in the 4th house in the 1st and 7th house they will have 50% of strength as they are going closer to the 10th house there will be an increase in strength as they are going away from the 10th house there will be decrease in strength and you know that very clear no confusion this you know but there is another thing kendra houses are 100% power the houses next to kendras what you know is panfaras are 80% power colony and apoclimas the house previous to kendras are 60% powerful only this is house based strength and in germany astrology atmakarak is the ascendant so whenever you have to see strength of anything else you will use atmakarak but right now you are checking atmakarak itself so you have to check from the ascendant and checking from the ascendant atmakarak is in 10th house that is the kendra it renders atmakarak powerful so atmakarak is powerful in navam shatmakarak is powerful in the placement of houses also right so because it is in kendra 100% strength the person will come in the top one third of the society if the atmakarak goes to second fifth eighth or 11th house person will be in the second set of one third of the society if the atmakara goes to third sixth ninth or 12th house then person will be in the last one third of the society right this have to be understood a little bit more deeper and lastly these are general sources of strength and we are using it because jamini have told you hora daya siddha okay okay so what if you have to club both yeah uh -huh. sir sanjay sanjay sorry mm -hmm. the digbal is there and uh, the house strength is there uh -huh. okay. we have to, you have to club so me. so that means uh, for example if mars is there in the 10th house it's it will power. be 100 uh, 200% yeah super power highly successful so this person is not very successful in the society only he is very successful in the whole world one type of strength successful in the country you increase it more and more maximum the planet is digbali also kendra also and this third type of strength is also getting super power 300% powerful oh one in the world albert einstein kind of a personality right he is not very popular only because of a country he is born in more powerful than that right more successful than that impacting the complete world accordingly it should okay no germany tells you germany is so beautiful you like you are, remember the shlokas also if you have like if you are doing it like me re reading it from years so rashita prana one thing is there three four principles are there these are the basics i will teach you more about strength later on when we come to argala we'll learn more about strength right now basic thing you have to understand germany step 1 have to be used planet with another planet is powerful as compared to a planet who is alone okay understood if both planets are with planet then the planet who is with a more powerful planet that planet is more strong right just a second
So I have written an article. You go to my website, right? So first, Karak Yoga Prathamo Bhanam, right? The planet conjoined with a planet is more powerful as compared to a planet not conjoined with a planet. Then Samya Bhuyasa, if both of them are conjoined with equal number of planets, right? If both of them are conjoined with planet, then one who is conjoined with more number of planets. Say one planet is conjoined with one planet, one planet is conjoined with two planets. So the one who is conjoined with two planets is more powerful. This is what it says. If they are conjoined with same number of planets, then the one who is exalted, the one who is conjoined with an exalted planet or Mulutrikon planet is more powerful as compared to another one. This is third source of strength. You will use only when the first two fail to decide the strength, right? If this also does not decide, then remember planet in fixed Rashi is weak, planet in Sorry, planet in movable Rashi is weak. Planet in fixed Rashi is more powerful. Planet in dual Rashi is most powerful. If they are also in the same number of Rashi, then the strength should be decided by the Rashi Lord. So the same principle of exaltation, etc. should be, should be uh, applied on the Rashi Lord. If both the Rashi Lords are exalted, then also. Then the one who is having more degrees, now the degree then the one who is having more degrees is powerful. If both are having same number of degrees, then what? Then planet Lord of male Rashi will be powerful if he is situated in female Rashi and planet Lord of female Rashi will be powerful when he is situated in male Rashi. So this article is there, strength of Rashi. This I have written in 2017. This you can read. But, or I will explain it to you. This is first source of strength, right? Few principles are there. You will apply them one after another to decide stronger between two planets. Whenever there's a question to decide the stronger, which will generally not come. But right now, Atmakarak is having a lot of power. So basically you should apply this. When comparing between two planets, you will apply strength one by one. But here we are just deciding the strength of a singular planet. So we see how many principles are applied. It is moon, the Atmakarak is conjoined with a planet Mercury. That Mercury is in exaltation Rashi also. So as per Gemini also, he is getting two types of strength. It makes the Atmakarak extremely powerful. So this person falls in the liberation category. He is having full freedom to do whatever he wants to do. Technically, this person is successful. This is horoscope of Agatha Christie, the author. Very successful, successful other. Understood the point. Three types of strengths are there. I have explained it once. I will not explain it again. If you have a question, you can ask. That's another. Understood.